Recession. People lost jobs at massive rate. Big companies started to go the road to bankruptcy. In one company, a janitor came up with the idea that would help the company rise and make billions from this product. Product became a cultural phenomenon, inspiring rap videos, streetwear design, Instagram worthy menu items, and many more. Being so popular to get banned in schools. This is the story of Richard Montañez, janitor that went up to be an executive. To understand how this happened, we need to go all the way to the beginning. In school, he was bullied and treated differently from his classmates because he was Mexican. When Richard was older he joined a gang that sold illegal things that I can't say on YouTube because they don't like that. Not everything was negative in Richard's life. He was in a relationship with his friend from elementary school whose name is Judy. He was happy with Judy. They had an amazing relationship. Later in life Judy will become a great partner to Richard. Something happened that would change Richard's life. Judy got pregnant. The pregnancy changed Richard. He saw that this kind of life is bad for his future. He realized that he needs to leave his friends. Judy worked as a shopkeeper and after work would sell things in the street. Richard worked as an electrician, gardener and a car washer. The family struggled really hard, living paycheck to paycheck. Richard had enough and went to his old buddies to ask them for help getting back on the street. They didn't allow him that because, as he says, they were sorry for him. But the leader of the gang worked in a factory and Richard asked him if he could help him get a job there. Richard got a position as a janitor. He couldn't get any higher position because Richard never finished high school. The company name was Frito-Lay. They make snacks like Lay's, Doritos, Cheetos, Fritos and few more. Frito-Lay was owned by PepsiCo at the time. Richard was proud to be a part of a huge company. His father told him when he mops the floor to be the best janitor at Frito Lay because he is a Montañez. But Richard wanted more. He wanted a better position, so he learned about the machinery in the company, how each machine works, and what is it for. Awesome! Life is going good for Richard. Soon he'll be promoted, right? He couldn't get promoted. Recession hit the country. When the economic recession hit the country, he was happy to have a job because Frito-Lay needed to fire a lot of people. Roger Enrico, the CEO of PepsiCo, made a motivational video for all employees. In the video, he motivated them to think like an owner and gave ideas to the company. In the factory, nobody watched the video. Richard was the only one who watched it and he got hooked. He realized that Mexicans like spicy food. But when he got to the store, he realized that on the shelves there were no spicy food from his company. So with his wife and sons, he decided to make a sample that would save his company. He decided to call Roger Enrico, the CEO himself, which was mad at that time. His secretary picked up and was pretty shocked that a janitor called the CEO. But she connected him with Roger Enrico. Enrico loved the sample and told Richard to make a presentation in two weeks. The problem was Richard didn't have a clue to make a presentation or say any of the business terms. He went to library and read books about it. Basically, he told them that there is a huge market of Mexicans that is untouched. Executives asked him about market share. He didn't know what that means. So he told them, That much market share. Roger and Rico decided to make 5,000 packs of this new product to see how it will perform. The product name was Flaming Hot Cheetos. Sadly, consumers weren't interested in it, so they stopped the production. But why? Everybody who tried the product liked it. Richard realized that there was no marketing for the product. So Richard, rather than call Roger Enrico and ask him about marketing, he told his friends and everybody who he knew to spread the samples from the factory to Mexican communities. They also went to the supermarket to buy as many Flaming Hot Cheetos as they could so that people would be curious. That moves increased sales and Roger Enrico ordered 5 million packs to be made. After only 6 months, the company was in a better position than before the recession thanks to Flaming Hot Cheetos. Roger Enrico promoted Richard to be director of multicultural marketing. Also, Roger Enrico wanted him to make more products. He did that and he got the nickname Godfather of Latino Marketing. He retired in 2019 after 42 years of innovation and leadership. He is now a motivational speaker who takes $10,000 to $50,000 per appearance. A movie was made about his story directed by one of my childhood crushes. Eva Longoria, the movie was streamed on Disney Plus and Hulu, so that means Richard got his pockets filled. He wrote two books, 
The first book name is A Boy, A Burrito and a Cookie. Second book is called Flaming Hot. A very inspirational and amazing story. Except it's fake. Or maybe it isn't. We will see. In 2018, an article was published in LA Times with the title, The Man Who Didn't Invent Flaming Hot Cheetos. How can that be? Richard's story makes sense. Lane Greenfeld one day saw that Richard is taking credit that he invented Flaming Hot Cheetos. So she decided to call Frito-Lay and they launched an investigation. Now who is Lane Greenfeld? Lane was a young graduate who got an MBA in business. Her first job after college was in Frito-Lay. There she was tasked to make a new flavor of snacks that would rival other spicy snacks. For example, J-Hot Stuff. But that's he said, she says. What does Frito-Lay say? When Lane contacted Frito-Lay, they released a statement that none of their records show Richard's involvement with Flaming Hot Cheetos test market. But that doesn't mean he didn't come up with the idea. Okay, Richard has got a strong card to confirm his story. Roger Enrico. Sadly, he died in 2016. Secondly, he joined as CEO of PepsiCo in 1991 and Flaming Hot Cheetos were developed a year before. This looks bad for Richard. But what about the secretary who passed a call to Roger Enrico? Her name is Patty Ruth. She remembers Richard calling and says that happened in 1993 after Flaming Hot Cheetos were released. Okay, but what about the presentation? There were a lot of people to confirm the story. They tracked 20 people in that meeting. None of them confirmed the story. One of them was Ken Lukaska, who worked as a product manager for Cheetos brand when Flaming Hots were rolling. He said, cool, if that story existed, believe me, we would have heard about it. So that's it. Richard lied and fooled everybody. The story is made up. Actually, no. Albert P. Carey, he became CEO and president of Frito-Lay North America in 2006. He was with the company for 40 years and was one of the executives who were there when Flaming Hot Cheetos were developed. He endorsed Richard's version of the story for years, but says it wasn't necessarily Richard who invented Flaming Hot Cheetos. Carey said Montaigne's charismatic personality and leadership qualities aided its success. Also added, without Richard, this thing wouldn't be out there. LA Times found an article about Richard in the 90s where he said that he invented and came up with a marketing strategy for Flaming Hot Popcorn. Flaming Hot Popcorn hit the shelves in 1994. The truth is, Richard worked at Frito-Lay. But shortly after joining, he was promoted to machine operator and was created for inventing few products like Flaming Hot Popcorn, Lime and Chili Fritos, etc. As LA Times published the article, they contact Frito-Lay, as they say, dozens of times. When they asked about Richard's involvement, they said, we do not credit the product creation to him and him alone. When LA Times asked to clarify that, Frito-Lay said he was part of it. Yes, sure. I know this story is weird, but Richard has few more defenses in his sleep. Frito-Lay hired a consultant named Roberto, I can't, I can't pronounce that last name, who remembers Richard and says that he came up with a marketing strategy with women hosting Tupperware parties. Richard talked about Tupperware parties in his books and says it was for Flaming Hot Cheetos. Maybe he mixed up the story of Flaming Hot Cheetos with Flaming Hot Popcorn. But PepsiCo said in a statement, the launch and success of Flaming Hot Cheetos and other products to several people who worked at PepsiCo, including Richard Montañez. To be clear, we have no reason to doubt the story he shares about taking the initiative to create new products idea for Cheetos brand and pitching them to past PepsiCo leaders. The PepsiCo spokesperson concluded, Richard is an important part of PepsiCo's history and the success of the company. So this is crazy, but beware, PepsiCo maybe said that just because this whole thing caused them a PR nightmare. Anyways, the involvement of Richard's creating Flaming Hot Cheetos is unclear. The statements of the companies were changed, so who knows. What's weird is that Richard claimed this story from late 2000 and it wasn't noticed until 2018. But Richard gave inspiration to millions of people with his story. That's good, even if the story is fake. At the end of this interview, he says that he wants to inspire leaders to look at their workers, maybe a janitor has a billion dollar idea. That's true, I like that. So who created Flaming Hot Cheetos? I don't know. But I know that the product had impact in millions of lives and served as an inspiration to create rap videos, streetwear design, 
awesome menus and many more. Look, there will be always people who think that this story is true and that he is lying. The question is, what do you think? Tell him in the comments. He is maybe lying. Maybe he mixed up the story with flaming hot popcorn or maybe he's telling the truth. Maybe we will soon find out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you are interested in business content and business stories. Also, follow me on Twitter. I post business content there also. Thank <music> you.